All right, guys. Today is the first day of the CrossFit Open. So a few, uh, a few, few tips that I want to share with you. I knocked it out this morning, and um, and what I, I think I did really good uh, for for myself. <laughs> uh, scores in the back, <clears throat> but a few tips that I think that uh, I could have done better. Uh, I might try them um, to see if I can, you know, probably squeeze out a few reps on a redo. But so for sure, um, I think really is going unbroken is going to help you. And uh, obviously, if if, uh, if the 50 pound dumbbell is too much, then I would go scaled. And this is for RX. Um, actually, this, this will apply for scale too. So whatever the weight is, go unbroken. Um, so the workout. Uh, I'll flash it here before with Dave Castro announcing it, but you know on the total bars, um, just make sure you open up your hips. Uh, that's number one right there. Open those hips up, and uh, that'll help with the kip, so you can open and close it. So make sure you open up those hips, hips and close make contact with the bar. <clears throat> so that's number one. Number two is when you make it to the dumbbell, I do recommend going unbroken. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't do it unbroken, and I think I could have saved some more time. Again, I did six rounds. So as you go, um, those transition times do add up. So what I did is I did five and five. You have to do five one arm, five on the next arm. And I dropped it. Um, um, dropped it on the ground and then transitioned to the next arm. So um, honestly, I probably should have just held on to the dumbbell and switched from the uh, from the hip because the way that you have to uh, you have to start from the hang on the dumbbell. So you start here and then uh, again use those hips. So from here and then. You can jerk it, you can press it, which is the way I did it. And then here, once you do five on one arm, I dropped it, I do recommend, is hold on to it, and then go and broken on those 10. So, or press. So that's my recommendation. And I would just, I would have paced the rower uh, a little bit slower. So, number one, uh, use the hips uh, for the clean and jerk, and also the total bars. And number two is to go on broken on the, the uh, clean and jerks. And number three is pace. You might be super excited that you're doing the open for the first time. I would say is just pace it. Uh, if you don't know your work capacity, Maybe go a little bit slower on um, on the work because it is 20 minutes. So I did find myself looking at the clock a few times once just to see how fast my pace was going. Number two, you know, the thing about 12 minutes in, I was thinking like, wow, this is <laughs> adding up quite a bit. Um, but you know, and just try to minimize the transitions as you go from, um, and then you know, keep the equipment close because that also helped with the transition time. But not because, see, I'm not going to regionals or even close to it, but I think it just makes you think less about a movement. The less you have to walk, it's right there. You just uh, reset, get your uh, position right, and then you just get it knocked out. So those are my three tips on getting the 18.1 done. Hopefully it helps you comment on uh, if you've done it, if you, if you haven't done it and then comment your time on what you did. So uh, mine was 247, six rounds and five calories. Spectra Strength in Stafford, Texas. And just a little housekeeping here. We are in Texas, so today is Go Texan Day. So if you're watching, all right. Uh, be cool to see what you dress up. I don't have any cowboy boots, I just have some. some